All right, so we're getting right into this video. If you didn't see the last video, I just ended it off in the first ride on the new Honda. But uh, Yoshimira got me dialed in with some fresh pipes for this thing. Get this thing unboxed, shipped it right to Blaze's house down here in Florida. And uh, we'll open this thing up, see what we got here. Got a full system right here, get it all unpackaged, and then uh, get the bike warmed up. We'll get a sound test stock. And obviously with the Yoshis and a full ride uh, in this video tomorrow. So just trying to get these done, put on tonight, so I don't have to do it tomorrow morning. So looks like we got the headers, both headers here. Boom. And then uh, the other slip on in there. So get this all taken out, get the bike warmed up. Uh, get a sound test on this thing. These things are sweet. So sick. So if you guys are looking to uh, upgrade your Honda, get some Yoshis on there or any bike, I'll uh, leave Yoshimir's link in the description. Best pipes in the business if you're looking to uh, get a better sound, better power. Shouldn't be too hard. There's not much to it, really. Got everything laid out. Header slip-on. I believe this is the full, um, obviously, full system, full titanium. Well, pausing here. I never actually did the sound test, so uh, I'll insert a clip of an old clip rubbing it from a previous video because I'm an idiot. I'm thinking at this point I'm just gonna run uh, right Yoshi, leave the other side stock. So it's getting dark here and the light in here isn't the best, so got the one pipe on, got all the springs on, good to go, cleaned it off, and then I'm gonna do the other side, and then uh, tomorrow you'll see the full reveal and uh, sound test and first ride with the new pipe, so. It's pretty straightforward, a couple bolts, springs, it's really not too hard. And then we'll move on to uh, what most of you wanna see, or here I should say. All right, so the next morning here, we got all the bikes out. Started it up, got a couple things done on this thing, checked it over, tightened some stuff up. Got uh, some wire on my grips that were moving on me. And we should be good to go. Head out to PAX here in a little bit, get the bikes loaded up, and uh, we'll skip to when we get there, get a first, uh, first sound test comparison on these Yoshis. We'll leave the spark resters in there for now, or I think, Looks like it's just this one, and then I'll take it out, do a comparison, and then we'll go from there. See how much better these things sound. We got Yoshi's on everything now. Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Bikes are set up. Big Har needs some Yoshi's next. You gotta take those dancing hands off it. While I'm talking on this, if you guys haven't gotten an entry to win my CRF 110, just got a full makeover, full powder coat, this thing is sweet. Every $5 spent gives you one entry on my website. Top link in the description if you wanna get something. Everything's like 50% off. All the merch to uh, restock for new stuff. But uh, this thing is dialed in. So if you guys wanted 110, now's the time to get your chance to win one. So. Big Yosh, those things look sick. On a real note, I really want to thank Yoshi for literally getting all of my bikes dialed in with pipes. Best pipes in the business by far. All right, so we just got all geared up. Good to go. Get the bikes warmed up. And then I'll get a couple sound clips on this thing. So, uh, go do a couple feeler laps and then get some clips of riding. Stoked to see how this thing sounds. Here's a full look on it now. All done up, the whole thing.
hanging out. We've gone out maybe like three, four times. It's super hot today. It's like 90. Our pump's so bad if we're not riding for so long. But uh, probably by the end of the week we'll be good. But overall, the Honda's good. Second day on it, no complaints. Uh, yeah, I think we're loading up, heading out, getting our gear off, go back to the house, shower, and uh, maybe rip around on the Supermoto or something. Loading up, heading out for the day. It's like three, four o'clock. And then I'll get back to the house. We'll probably uh, we film a little more at the house and riding around to uh, finish out this video since we probably didn't get too much footage of riding today. Here's the first little sound test. Uh, we rode today, we washed it, and I've actually got a couple of revving clips with the bike other than uh, just riding itself. If you get a couple of revs, let it warm up. We'll take this out after. take that out see if it makes any difference do you want me to go get coffee all right take it looks like there's only one spark rester in there this out and then we'll see if the sleeve comes out if i gotta do that one i thought i'll get hit with something Oh, I guess I'll keep it out. Definitely sounds a little bit deeper, so might as well just keep it out. Run it. So there's no actual spark rester, it's just that sleeve and then hmm. other piece, but the other side doesn't have it. That's why I said you have to so, hold. Yeah, yeah. I guess I gotta take this one out so it matches. Then we should be good. Can you leave the bolt in without that? Huh? Can I'm you just like taking it out so it, does, it looks the same on both pipes. Here, just in case probably somebody wanted to put a quieter spark thruster in there, they like include the hardware just mm -hmm. already on it. I guess leave your comment down below what you think sounds better with it in, with it out. Pretty much sounds the same. Might be a little bit deeper, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, I guess now we'll transition to this morning going riding because, uh, like I said, I forgot to actually get a revving clip at the track before I went out and started riding. Alright, so we just got back to the house, did uh, the sound test video, um, got this thing all cleaned up, power washed up, ready to go for tomorrow, fresh filter. I think we're just riding some sand pit close to Blaze's house tomorrow, so. Sitting over here, got completely destroyed in the sun today and yesterday. <laughs> Overall second ride on this thing, like I was saying, getting more comfortable on it. Definitely uh, like it better than my Kawi still. One issue I did have this morning when I went to go pull off, it wouldn't let me, uh, I kept like the clutch wouldn't engage every no matter how i adjusted the clutch it kept stalling out on me and then all i had to do is kind of release the clutch it's slow the and clutch get the clutch engage, warm that was overly engaging it was, yeah overly engaging to the point where it wouldn't let me move now i've heard that was an issue with the previous year honda it kept stalling over and over and over till the bike the clutch was super hot what i'm gonna do is we didn't get a ton of riding clips from today so i'll probably cut to tomorrow when we go to the sand pit rip around there and just have this all one long video hopefully all right, so the next day here, we'll go rip around. We're getting geared up, go to the sand pit, get a couple more sound clips of the Yoshis for you guys. And uh, it should be fun. It's a good little road ride there. Should be interesting. Hopefully, uh, there's no cops. We've seen a ton of cops riding the uh, supermodels and stuff around. So uh, hopefully we don't run into them. So so according to Blaze, it's some big sand pit. Should be able to rip around for a little bit and uh, have some fun. So we'll get the bikes warmed up and over there. And uh, we'll break the camera out. Got the fresh uh, O'Neal Prodigy gear. By far the most comfortable gear I've ever worn. Super stretchy, really comfortable, and uh, looks sweet. If you guys haven't gotten yourself some uh, O'Neal gear, I'll leave their link below, as always. Pit. This is a true sand pit. Nothing like what we have back home. This place is sick. So sick. We already did a couple like loops around here. We can make a bunch of different turns, but uh, we got a Jeep guy back here right now. We'll go have some fun.
Why? <laughs> You teaching these guys what's up on a pitter? Yeah, I gotta teach them what's up on the pitter, you know what I mean? You're sick out there. 110 light. I thought I could make it over that little bump. I, I gotta go a little faster to like kind of swing out a Water skip this. Wait, you, so you wouldn't do it. What? You wouldn't do it. Yeah, I promise I would. Give me the bike. Oh, where are they going? I'll do it. Perfect entrance too. Just come wick down here yeah, and just I'll straight in. This way, because that way is more of a drop. Yeah, this, this would way? be the better way to do it. Dude, it's... go take Ryan's bike. Or just do half of it. Cut this way. Here's the deal we just came up with. Blaze wants to skip it. If so Blaze bad. right here. If you get me, if everybody watching this video right now follows me on Instagram, gets me to 100k and follows Blaze on Instagram and gets Blaze to 10K, we'll come back here next week and Blaze will skim this on his race bike. On my 20, <laughs> what? No, 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 all right, practice. Blaze will do it on his practice bike, sorry. His practice bike will come back and he'll skip Because they don't so. understand how deep that is in the middle. Yeah, that's yeah. it, it's pretty deep. Dude, that's 10 feet deep in the middle. I'm yeah. being dead serious. Because that fence yeah. is buried over there. So, yeah. All right, we'll do it. So, my Instagram will be on the screen right here. Blaze's Instagram will be on the screen. Follow both. If we hit the numbers by next week, we'll come back and he'll do it, right? Jeez, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care. All right. The cops just pulled up down there, then they looked, and then they left. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that. I think we're fine. ride back to the house we've been back here probably an hour or so ripping around do some work on this thing i still gotta put my hour meter on there i just came in change my oil again go over it and uh get it ready for next week because uh tomorrow we're going to daytona supercross sunday we're gonna hang out we'll probably ride monday or tuesday and uh sunday get some more videos here. out right, so we just got back to the house got all the gear off got the bikes uh somewhat in the garage here probably gonna rip to uh daytona hang out for the night probably gonna end this video here let me know in the comments what you think of the new Yoshis, how they sound. Tried to get a bunch of different shots on these things. So make sure you like this video. The likes really help me out a lot. Helps push the channel, helps push the video, and I really, really appreciate it. But other than that, if you want to see more riding videos from this week, from a bunch of different tracks, hanging out, cruising around, and to ride as much as possible on this trip. Also, at this point, there's only three days left, ending on Sunday. Time to get your entries in to win my CRF 110. Every $5 spent gives you one entry. You've heard this spiel. 
basically if you haven't seen it yet full Yoshi everything powder coated some uh, BBR uh, stiff springs bigger pegs Yoshi traction seat better shifter big bars this thing is ready to go for whoever wins it and then a couple of little hop-up parts thanks to uh, T-Bolt USA yeah, this thing's ready to go I'll ship it to you bring it to you depending on how far you are and uh, you can get yourself a fresh little 110 to rip around like I said top link in the description to my website if all you want to get something before you miss out and uh, get an opportunity to win a dialed in 110 with that if you guys are new and you want to see more videos like this one make sure you're subscribed like the video it helps me out a lot it helps push my videos helps my channel grow so for all the people that like the videos I appreciate you but like I always say if you want to see what's going down before the videos get posted you can follow my Instagram at Tyler Monaghan and with that I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video